T-Bar and Camp Travis. A little slice of heaven located in Spicewood, Texas. Or so we've been led to believe. A virus. More hostile and malicious than anything known on record by the CDC. Has swept through Camp Travis and taken its toll on the staff. The powers that be would like to keep this swept under the rug. But we talked to a myriad of staff on hand and got the real truth behind what's been going on here. These are stories. Hi, my name is Sarah Kess Stevens. Um, I'm 20 years old and um, I have camp fingers. Strain T. Tie-dye. Hi, I'm Busy Bulger. 19 years old. I've been afflicted by camp fingers. Strain R. Ropes. My name is Bailey Payne. I'm 19 years old. I go to the University of Colorado, SCO Buffs, and I've been diagnosed with camp fingers. Strain R. Raise the fingers. Woke up bright and early, went to the Rio to check my schedule, and um, I saw that activity three, I had tie-dye. I was pumped. Um, so um, it's about halfway through the activity period, and suddenly I looked down at my hands, and they're completely stained, purple and blue. Um, and at that point, I knew that my life would change forever. Um, after bling, maybe, 50 people. I looked down at my hands and I just knew something was wrong. Um, and when I went to the doctor, they could not find a diagnosis for like such a long time, like one full day. You're swimming in the pool. You're having fun at the lake. You have no idea when it's gonna hit you. You look down and eventually your hands are raisins, and it's gonna be that way for a good amount of time. Instead of greeting me with a hello, how are you, their eyes go straight to the cuticles. They're purple and blue from the tie-dye, and um, they only that's their only focus are my nail beds and my cuticles, and I am more than my nails. I am more than my camp fingers, and I just need people to see that. When they told me I had camp fingers, string R, my world just got rocked. I think I literally just went back to my cabin, turned the fans off, sat in my bed and just sweat. I want to give someone a high five. I want to encourage my campers with a hand hug. They deny me. I'm an outcast. I I literally can't do this anymore. I, I can't. I, I, just, I, I gotta go. Camp in no way warned me about the afflictions that come with having raisin fingers. I'm not gonna place all the blame on camp, but I'm gonna say that they are also fully responsible for my camp fingers. Um, my cuticles did not sign a contract um, saying I'm willing to be stained blue. Um, and so while I don't think they're responsible fully, I also think that they um, should completely take the full weight of my camp fingers. Um, so yes, I do think there's a conspiracy and um, we will band together, me and my camp finger friends, um, and we'll fight this for sure.